Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about isometric projection of a hemisphere over a cone. And the problem is like this: a hemisphere of 40 mm diameter is supported coaxially on vertex of the cone of base diameter 60 mm and axis length 50 mm. The flat circular face of hemisphere is facing upside. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solids. Here we have two solids. First one is cone whose diameter is 60 mm and height is 50 mm. And next one is hemisphere whose diameter is 40 mm and supported coaxially on the vertex that is tip of the cone. So this is the problem. We will go for the solution. So first we will start with the cone. Then above the cone we have a hemisphere. So cone will be a uh, circular base. Therefore, uh, it appear as an ellipse and the cone diameter is given as uh, 60 mm the axis length is 50 mm so 60 50 so i'll start with a uh, diameter that is 60 mm 60 30 60 150 60 minus 150 and lastly it is 60 and minus 30 so you'll get a square then corner to the opposite edge midpoint. Similarly, here also corner to the opposite edge midpoint. Uh, from this corner to the opposite edge midpoint. From this corner to the opposite edge midpoint. To find the center of that, I am going to draw the diagonal. Yes. So now I will go for the arc. So arc by center point. Select this. Go for the thick line. Thick line. So first keep this as a center. Taking this as a radius, draw the arc, keep this as a center, taking this end point as the radius, draw the arc, sometimes you will not get that. So select this as a center, select this as a radius, draw the arc, okay, no, sometimes you will not be able to get it easily, yes. So keeping this as a center, taking this as a radius, draw the arc. Then keeping this intersection as a center, taking this as a radius, draw the arc. Taking this as a center, keeping this as a radius, okay, we'll try this side, we got arc, okay, select the intersection move from this side till you get the midpoint of that or the end point here also you can check for the end point you will get the arc yes now this is just a, uh, a base of the cone height is given as 50 mm so let us take the center height is 50 and it is a vertical line therefore 90 90 since it is an axis i am going to convert that into axis select this go to axis line thin line okay now we'll join this to have a cone first so from this tip draw the tangent as you can see there the tangent indication you can draw the tangent there similarly from here till here so draw the tangent once you draw the tangent the inside line you can either uh, split it and you can convert it to a thin line okay it depends or you can trim it off i better go with the uh, converting into uh, thin lines so i'll go for it i'll zoom it so first i'll select this this one's supposed to be uh, light and thin line here these two arcs i'm going to split this select split select this intersection this is not the mandatory thing but still it looks good to do that so select this and this end so as you can see now these two are separate lines this is select this select this go with this and make it to thin line as you can see it here now this is the cone okay now one more thing is hemisphere so hemisphere is quite a different uh, for in the construction usually uh, we will go for the uh, circle first now uh, the hemisphere has the diameter is 40 mm right so i will go with 40 30 40 uh, 150 uh, then 40 minus 150 then 40 minus 
30. So I'll go with the thin line because all these are all construction lines. So I'll select this, I'll make it into thin, right? Now inside this, I have to construct ellipse, but here this time I'll not use the same method. Uh, I'll show you the different method so that you'll get an accurate value of the uh, hemisphere, ellipse for the hemisphere. Okay, corner to the opposite edge midpoint. Similarly, from this corner to the opposite edge midpoint. Now, draw the diagonal to identify the center. Now, uh, any uh, two is more than enough actually. Go for arc, arc by center point. Now, this time I'm not going to draw uh, all the arcs, I'm just going to draw these two arcs one from here to here, keeping this as center, uh, one from here to sorry, from this till here till this midpoint I'm going to draw. Now what I'm going to now convert everything into ISO. Before that since it is not placed exactly at the point axis the axis you have to draw the axis is uh, for uh, 20 okay so 20 and it is vertically uh, minus 90 you will get the axis now go with this convert into axis line okay now select this place it exactly at this go to move turn off the copy command pick this point place it exactly at this tip okay now convert this entirely into iso select this go to scale scale factor uh, 0 0.8164 click here now convert this into iso i'm going to zoom it to show you that okay here you have now go to arc select this now while drawing the arc you are supposed to draw it to the original radius that is 20 from here draw the radius now use the curve option select this point this point and uh, this end point will get a curve which is touching that again from this point till this point and till here you will get a curve as you can see it here, this gives you the more accurate value for the uh, hemisphere. So for the hemisphere, actually this value is supposed to be original radius, sphere and hemisphere. Okay, so that is why I did, it, did, it, did it in this way. Okay, here in sidelines again, I am going to use split, select this, intersection, select this, intersection and internal lines, you can keep it into a thin line. Select this, make it into a thin line and invisible line. Okay, so this completes the uh, second problem. So this gives you a, a better uh, results compared to the regular method. So once again, these two are thin lines, so I'll make it into thin lines. So dimensions, what you are supposed to show, you can show this angle that is 30 degree on either side. Simple. I can also show the axis of that. You can use the small dimension. You can show this. What is the axis here? And you can also show what is the axis here. You can also show the diameter of this if you want. You can go with the small dimension. You can select this. See diameter. I can keep this side. It is R20. This gives you an accurate value. So these two you can convert into ISO. Uh, just make it blank. Type here. That is. It is ISO 20 axis supposed to be ISO 20 and it is I think so select this it into blank go for here and this is ISO I think 50 so show 50 yes okay so this completes your second problem thank you